y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to give you some ideas for mother's day some mothers appreciate though some customized items especially if they are handmade i have here a mug that i bought from a thrift store and so we're going to pick bright color and i decided to pick yellow color instead of the darker pink i folded the tissue into sections so i could find the middle part so it will be center if we're going to fluff away the ends of the tissue the good idea about this is you can buy the items that she like most or maybe a color or flavor i've seen these ideas in flower shops or grocery stores so i think it would be better to also share you how they possibly made it this time we're going to use some floral foam and measure how deep you want it to be and then you are going to cut the excess foam And then we're going to put some moss these are fake and these will not grow set aside and we're going to do something about these chocolates it is cheapest to buy some chocolates a day or two after the valentine's day but you still have to check their expiry date for this project we're going to use some skewer the skewer is more stable than the colored floral stems but we're still going to cover it with floral tapes the chocolates here are kind of thicker so i put the middle part of the skewer so that it will be stable in sticking this on our mug so far i had tried the scotch tape i'm not sure if this will work with glue not burning the wrapper it would be perfect if you put at least three tapes on it and kind of press it down you can make as many as you want uh, depending on your budget or how huge your base or your mug. After putting everything in the skewer, we're going to need a floral tape. Remember, a floral tape is stretchable, so you're going to just kind of stretch it and it will stick to itself. Now, if you notice, I did not wrap it all the way because that's the part also that I'm going to bury in the floral foam. So it's not necessary to wrap it all the way. Make sure to secure the ends so that it will not unwrap itself. You may also pre-wrap the skewer before putting the tape in the chocolates, but you can also do this way. After wrapping everything, then we're going to stick some fake leaves or flowers depending on what you like or the preference of the person you are trying to give this gift. But if you're going to use the real ones, you need some plastic under this floral foam so that it will not make a mess because you still have to put some water so the leaves or the flowers that you're putting here will not die. I'm going also to add some uh, baby's breath so it will look fuller. Next, we have a mug here that I still bought from a thrift store. This time, I'm going to use some K-cups. Now, if you live in the Philippines or other side of the world or you can buy the instant coffee in the sachet, you can still do so. But make sure that if you are trying to give it someone on a K-cup, make sure that they have the Keurig coffee maker. This time, I'm going to use the floral stick because the K-cups are already light in, in weight. So it's not making it uh, bend when I'm using this on the K-cups. It is best that you're going to use the flavors of the coffee or the brand of coffee of the person you're trying to give.
So after that, you can still make or use some leaves or real flowers along with your K-cups. So it will still look full or it is nice to incorporate it along with the favorite ones that she liked and the flowers. So because this is only for idea, I usually just use fake flowers and if you notice that my tissue are crumpled because I had been repurposing or reusing this from my previous projects. And of course, it would be nice to have a card also with your loving message on it. So these are the two ideas that I could give to you. Now, if your mother or the one you're trying to give loves jewelries, then you can buy a mother and child pendant. Check out in your jewelries or you can have it customized. Or you can have a customized ring with your birthstone, your siblings, and your mother's birthstone on it. Check out your local jeweler. They probably have a catalog with designs or styles that you may want. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate your comments, like, and share on this video. For more ideas, I have a playlist that I made for DIY. Bye y'all!